Hi Leos, welcome to my channel and welcome back for those of you who subscribed. If you're new here, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell. I promise you, you're gonna want to come back for more readings, promise you. So I'm doing a bonus reading for you guys because the last video I did yesterday, I think it was, it got like a crazy amount of views. Um, and that happened like one other time with you guys too. So Leo energy is like super intense. It's super fiery. I love it. Um, I don't have any Leo in my chart, but I feel like I should, I feel like I do. Um, it's so funny Leo's because I just started watching game of Thrones and you know where I'm going with this, with the lions, those of you who who are Game of Thrones fans, oh my gosh, right? Isn't that series so intense? It's so fucking good. It's such a good show. Um, all right, Leos. We have the Five of Swords. Hmm. This is self-sabotage. Whoop. Isn't that funny that I just dropped it and it flipped upside down, reverse? I don't read reversals. You know what that tells me? I don't read reversals, but that was meant to happen that way, Leos. It means that someone that you are dealing with who was self-sabotaging, sabotaging this connection, they were, uh, let me tell you about this person. They were, I was hearing in it to win it, you know, but they were just out for themselves. This person was out for themselves. You know, this was a false victory here though. This is someone who, I'm sorry if you guys can hear that outside, but it's like a, it's, I don't know. People are off work and they're doing yard work before the weekend. Um, there's like, there's been this area with you and this person, okay, where it's like, you have moments where it's like really clear and then it goes right back into like super confusing. What are we? What is this? Where are we going? For net right now we're talking, then we're not talking. Um, and I feel like this person, I'm seeing like a crawdad, like a crawdad, you know? They're, they like come in, but then they like crawd out of their way back out. Um, they, they don't like the way something happened though. Okay, Leo, they don't like the way something happened here. And I feel like they feel bad. For a lot of you, I feel like this person feels bad. All right, so we had another card. Let's see. <gasps> the lovers. Yeah, this person is ending their selfish ways because they made a decision in the recent past and their decision affected you tremendously, obviously, right? And they don't like the way it made you feel because it made you feel bad, Leo. It made you feel bad and this person doesn't like that. They're looking back on how the, how they handled themselves and they're ashamed of their behavior, of their words, of what they didn't say, what they did say. This person just is like, it's like they took a long, hard look at themselves in the mirror and they were like, what are you doing? You know, why are you doing that to Leo? You know, you know, you know, you love Leo. You guys got the lover card. The lovers is a decision, it's a choice in love. This person is making a decision here. I'm hearing um, Johnny Cash. I fell into a burning ring of fire. I went down, 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 and the flames went higher. And I burn, burn, burn. This person fell into a burning ring of fire, didn't they, Leo? With your fiery energy. Huh. 
Huh. I'm getting this super spiritual connection. I feel like one of you think you, Leo, I think you are super like spiritual. I think you're like cracked open. You're maybe not, you know, whatever it is, it doesn't matter, but you're, you're, you're spiritual. Okay. You're like the divine feminine. You're the one, doesn't matter man or woman. You're the one here watching readings. Okay. About the connection. So you're the one who's, you know, open to it. Um, for a lot of you, there's a physical distance between you guys. Like you live in different cities but are kind of far apart um, or in different states. What else for Leo? Thank you. The star card. True North. Inner Compass. Someone is following their true north here, Leo, their destiny, their fate, destiny, their inner compass, their heart. This person has hope and faith, Leo. They're praying to the heavens, the gods, whatever it is that they believe, their angels. They, have, they haven't lost hope. They haven't lost hope. They haven't lost hope, Leo. Look at that. The tower. I'm taking that out. That means a lot. Ace of Swords. All right. For many of you, this person in the recent past, they treated you like an option. They treated you like an option. They were very selfish. They were just, I'm hearing that saying, I'm rubber, you're glue, whatever you say bounces off of me and goes right back to you. So I feel like this person said some things here with the Ace of Swords that weren't true to, to, to a lot of you. They, they said things and, and you really were, you, it made you feel afterwards it made you feel leo like my gosh did they really mean that did they really mean that like when they said that to me did they like is that really how they felt like i had no idea they felt that it made you start questioning like things like that yeah but funny because I keep channeling Game of Thrones. I keep channeling it in like all my readings right now, but there's a reason why I start watching movies, shows. I start listening to like certain like music every once in a while, like different, just different things. I start talking about certain things periodically. Like it's always for a reason. I'm telling you, that's how the universe sends me like all the energy and the signals. But, um, in Game of Thrones, Stannis Baratheon and, um, oh my gosh, the Onion Knight, I can't think of his name right now. His like right hand man, right? Sir Joro, no, 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 that's not Sir Joro, no, no, no. Okay, I can't think of his name right now. Anyways, he's talking about speaking hard truths in his position. You know, he has to speak hard truth to the king, no matter what, you know, cause that's his job. So the king brings up some stuff, you know, about his past and whatnot. And, and the king goes, you know, hard truths cut both ways, you know. And um, Sir Davos, Sir Davos. <laughs> ah, it's, thank you, Spirit. Anyways, and that's what this is. I feel like, I feel like this person, they did not, they, they, they made you feel like they were speaking a truth that was very hurtful. And what happened was you, picked yourself up Leo and you were like uh, no I am not an option I am not an option and it went backwards to this person and they and, and then and then it hit them like a ton of bricks okay and then all of a sudden everything kind of came crumbling down and started unraveling around this person okay
this is some kind of destiny here something faded with the ace of swords you know it's divine truth divine truth it's a truth that needs to be spoken and until it's spoken this in this connection this person is going to keep getting knocked on their ass by the universe the universe is going to keep coming in that's the universe right there lightning bolt they they hit you you know you're all warm and cozy and you know you think you you think you've cleared cleared the, you know your like safe zone or whatever no you can't outrun the universe nope all right what else for leo tell us how the person feels tell us how leo's person feels how's leo's person feel <laughs> Landed right on top of the, the bet. This is how they feel. First of all, first of all, Leos, they are very, 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 very sexually attracted to you. Holy shnikes. I'm hearing the song, I'm ready for love. Ooh, baby, I'm ready for love. Bad company? Yeah. This person is ready for love, Leo. Um, I'm hearing that song, Mark Anthony. I didn't see it. Couldn't believe it. Oh, but I yeah, I guess let them right with that one. Oh, but I feel it. Leo energy, the sun. All the while I sit and then. That song is about him. He was like a player. He like he was a very like, you know, very wealthy, good looking, you know had whatever he wanted all any woman he wanted and he met like the one the one who was different she made him feel she awoken something inside of him and he tried fighting it he tried fighting it he treated her like an option so Hard truths cut both ways. He spoke a false truth. A false truth. And she said, mm, no, sorry. So she, she spoke a truth. Truth. Cuts both ways, right? Sent him into a tower moment. Forced him because it was destiny. It was fated meant to be Leo's and now it's time see the leaves all falling off of the wand it's like more than time it's time time like it's done baking the timer's gone off you better hurry before it starts burning inside the oven it's like that the heat is on the heat is on Leo's you have the sun, the star, the ace of swords, the ace of wands. This person, I just keep hearing, I didn't see it. Oh, what a feeling when she sang to me. If you guys haven't heard that song, you gotta go listen to that song. Like even like watch the video. I swear to you, that will resonate with you guys so much. It doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman. I mean, just like the basis of the song. Look at this person is coming in for a new cycle here with you. This person has learned some lessons. They've learned some hard truths about themselves, Leo. They've learned some hard truths here. Look at, yeah. They've kept you in the shadows with some things. She's the keeper of secrets, right? She's also intuition. What's to be revealed? What's coming? You have the sun here. The sun is what's being revealed. This person is coming forward to speak a truth, to have this passionate new beginning. 
they're gonna make a bold gesture. They're gonna make a bold gesture here. They, they have to make a bold gesture, I think, for many of you. It can't just be some little measly, like, oh, hey, how you been? It's gotta be something like, I can't get you off of my mind, and I, I know why. It, it, it's, I don't wanna say something like this, you know, I want to say something like that to you in person. Can I see you? I have to see you. You know, it's like something like super crazy like that. Like, it's like that. They've been thinking a lot about it. They've been thinking a lot about it. They can't picture their world. Like, they can't picture a world, Leo, where you don't exist. This person can't imagine a world where you don't exist. They also can't imagine a world where you're with someone else, married to someone else, having a family with someone else. They don't want that. They don't want that. They want that whole world. They want the whole picture, the whole happily ever with you because you make them so happy. They're hoping it's not too late here. All right, you guys, let's get some of my my message cards that I just made, you guys. Um, and they are super powerful. Like <laughs> they speak for Leo. What does Leo's person want to say? For Leo, please. For Leo, you're perfect for me. Sorry guys, these cards are a little like, I don't know, slick, I guess. For Leo, please. For Leo, what does that person wanna say? Head over hills in love. Yeah, they are. You guys, for many of you, this is a deep soulmate, a twin flame. I watch you on social media. You probably already know that, don't you, Leos? You guys are very intuitive, Leos. You're very witty, sharp, very sharp. That's why you guys watch tarot. You're always one step ahead. One step ahead. Like the lion. <laughs> All right. For Leo, please. I want to be with you forever and ever, amen. Cause I'm gonna love you forever and ever, forever and ever, <laughs> amen. You guys, that was so not pretty, huh? You got Aquarius. Huh. Maybe you guys met around the time of Aquarius season, which would be like, I don't know, I think like mid-January, end of January to like towards mid-February, I think. I don't know. I know I should know this stuff, right? I know it's around that time though. It's cold. Yeah, look, you have six months. So yeah, around six months ago, somewhere around that time and or maybe you have Aquarius in your chart or they do I want to marry you <laughs> they do they want to marry you they want to marry you so hard Leo spiritual awakening you guys this person they've been going through a spiritual awakening or you have two you guys sorry I know this is gross but whatever it's my tarot deck it's my message deck that i made i can lick my thumb if i want to i don't see that's so funny and i don't care what people say right right when i was saying that i can lick my thumb if i want to i don't care what people say no this person just doesn't care what people say anymore you know why because yeah they, they are having a spiritual awakening they're going through like a process of enlightenment look at that you have the High Priestess and the World card here. And the Sun card, which the Sun is Enlightenment, okay? The High Priestess. Alignment. 
alignment with your higher self, with your higher self falling into alignment. What else for Leo, please? Soulmate. Mm -hmm. I felt that. Didn't I say that? Soulmate. Just one look and I felt so hot. Empress in all her feels. <gasps> calling you out, Leo. The universe is calling you guys out. I love this deck. I love this deck. I'm so happy. You know, it's like you, you got to listen to your intuition on everything, you guys. You know what I mean? There's so many beautiful, like, message decks, you know, out there. But I just, I was called to do this and I'm so happy. I feel like very powerful. I can feel it. I can feel the energy. I'm certified for Reiki to you guys, by the way. That's awesome. That's awesome stuff. Ancestors. Your ancestors are with you, Leos. They're walking with you every day, all the time. They're guiding you too. I believe that your guys' ancestors, you know, you guys have a spiritual connection. It's like people, your past Selves, your, you know, people, your, both your ancestors basically are guiding you both. Divine Feminine. We have Empress in all her feels and Divine Feminine. And look at Divine Feminine came out with Leo. Chances are you're the Divine Feminine watching this, right? What I say, guys? Doesn't matter man or woman in this connection you're the divine feminine third party capricorn energy capricorn energy is devil energy for many of you your person has been in a very toxic third party for many of you toxic third party wow i feel that I mean, like all those like pressure in my chest all of a sudden. It's like this person didn't know what to do when they met you. They, they've they never like felt like this before and they were just used to dealing with bullshit all the time, bullshit. So they freaked out. I think this is how your guys' other reading went, the one that I just did. Hopefully you've seen that one too, you guys. This is your bonus, so it makes sense that this is like going into that. You're my guru. Yeah, this person has learned a lot from you. Yeah, many of you are for sure super spiritual. A journey. You're about to go on a journey. It's like a new chapter begins with this person. Nothing compares to you. Yeah, I channeled that song yesterday. Nothing compares to you. The Chris Cornell version. It's been... I'm going to say... 7,000 days since you went away. I miss you too, my love. Oh, that means you guys miss this person. Leos, you miss this person. This person's afraid to love. Yeah, they're afraid to love because many of them were stuck in a third party that was toxic. Like a cr they were with a crazy person. Yeah, afraid to open up. Direct message. This person's gonna message you. You're gonna hear from this person soon. Children. I just heard protecting children. So I feel like they have children, maybe, or you do. I don't know. But someone feels like they need to protect their children. So probably it feels like from an ex spouse in some way. It's over for me. It's this is what they. For the third party out there, this is what they were telling their ex in the recent past. Anything else? One more for Leo, please. One more for Leo. One more for Leo, please. New moon. So we have the full moon basically tonight, right? <laughs> I have naughty dreams of you. Oh my gosh. Yeah, they do. You guys are in a soulmate twin flame connection for many of you. By the new moon, reconciliation on the books. I just said reconciliation on the books. Pencil it in. 
<laughs> tell my people, have my people call your people, and da, 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 and then we'll and then we'll have that reconciliation happen. Okay, we'll sit down and we'll talk about the reconciliation. New moon. Mm, Leo's, I miss you too, my love. Um, oh. I'm hearing that song by the Eagles. Take it easy. Take it easy. Don't let the sound of your own will. Mm -mm. Yeah. This person, you got the beaver. It says, uh, this person is, there's new things on the horizon, making dreams real. This person's coming in. You have the waterfall. Overflowing abundance, tears of sorrow or joy. Release and fulfillment, chasing after something emotional release this person is going to open up emotional release leo's floodgates someone is heeding the call of their destiny here the tree they want to they want to lay down some roots here you guys this is past life too twin flame soulmate you guys your souls for many of you it's past life connection you guys is your souls are so you've been bonded hand fasted you've done all the ancient stuff you've been married you've i mean you've done it all you guys your bones are you're deep it, very deep you found each other and they want to come in and they want to get things going here with the bellows it's a catalyst a spark effort required yeah they got to put effort in they know that getting things going they want to ignite things between you guys and then you have the bouquet reconciliation reconciliation on the books what did i just say have your people call mod people they might send you some flowers with a no instructions what to do <laughs> where to meet what time to pick up the phone i'm just kidding it's all very christian gray like you know very christian gray i just started watching that i need to finish watching it actually that in Game of Thrones. I'm on a kick right now. It says openness, warmth, gratitude. This person has so much gratitude towards this connection and towards you and what you've shown them and what they've learned from you, Leos. Happy birthday. A reconciliation is on the books. High Priestess, twice. Double confirmation. This person wants to come in and be open and, and, and share with you what they've known all along. What they kept you in the dark about. I'm hearing cowboy up. This person needs to saddle up. <laughs> That's what they're coming in to do. That's what they're doing. So you guys, if this connected with you, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Thank you, Leos, for all your love and support. Mwah. Um, if you guys want a more in-depth reading, I'm going to start doing extended readings. So I'm going to offer those to go more like we're going to dive deep and figure out everything. But if you want something that's just for you to get an overall what's going on for you personally, I am accepting personal requests. Info's down below. Send me over an email. We'll get you set up, you guys. Um, I think that's it, you guys. I'm going to do some full moon readings tomorrow for all the zodiacs. So check back in. Um, but wow. Okay guys, I'm sending you all so much love and light. Thank you again. And I will see you soon. Bye Leos.